I wanted to get a these two. It was in a movie theater package. I got these incredible raw skin man brand. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Delaney, and I have a one-year-old French bulldog, Monte Carlo who is currently um, being the security guard of our window. So if he starts barking, I apologize in advance. Um, I do wanna say this will be the last video that I make in this apartment. Um, we just closed on a house today. So Monty is about to have a whole new space with a huge backyard and we are so excited about it. Um, so when you see me in a new location and the next videos, that is why. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this video. Um, I wanted to do like a what I got for, uh, for Christmas for Monty, like haul kind of thing. Um, I wanted to get a, anyway, I got his Christmas stuff in the mail that I was gonna put in his stocking and I couldn't wait to give it to him. So he actually got his Christmas stuff already. Um, but that's okay because he loves all of it and it's given me the ability to make this video of all his current favorites. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first I'm gonna start with toys and then we'll move on to food slash treat items. Um, so the first thing I got, which as you can see is very loved by Monty, it's completely chewed up. Um, but it is the Nyla Bone made with real wood, maple bacon stick thing. Um, I got this on Amazon, I think it was like six or seven dollars and he absolutely loves it. He really likes Nyla Bone, so he's really, really enjoyed this. Um, I also got him some more Nyla Bones. These two, it was in a movie theater package. So I know this is like buttered popcorn flavor and this is I think like cherry slushy. There was a third one, um, don't know where it went and I don't have the packaging for this, but he loves these things so much. Nyla Bones, he prefers over any kind of like chew toy or squeaky toy. He loves to chew on these. Um, and I know I've mentioned that I've gotten him Nyla Bones before in previous videos and he just absolutely loves these. Speaking of bones, I'm just gonna mention this one really quick uh, since we're on the topic. I got him these primal raw beef marrow bones or marrow bones. Um, and basically they're like frozen bones with like literally real bones with actual beef still on them. And then in the middle is the bone marrow. Um, but yeah, it comes in a pack of six. He's already had one and I keep them frozen. They're great for him to chew on because it takes him forever to get through one of these. You don't ever really get through it because he can't really chew the bone itself, um, but it keeps him busy and yeah. Next, he got a new collar. His other one was looking pretty rough. Um, so I got him this one on Amazon. It's the Wolfgang Man and Beast brand. And this one is just like a basic little, looks like a forest with the mountains and some stars and some clouds. Um, I just thought it was cute. I liked the colors of it. Um, his previous collar had my phone number and his name embroidered into it. So I'm gonna have to get him an actual tag with that stuff on it now. But I like that the buckle's really big. It's not like this dinky little buckle. I can actually like use it effectively without having to like hurt my fingers to get it to work. But um, this is the size medium. It's easily adjustable. And yeah, the inside is kind of cool too. It's just got like stars and stuff. Next, um, the vet was telling me to get him to use some kind of like, or eat some like fish oil or whatever, um, cause it's good for their skin. I mean, I think it has like a ton of benefits too. It's got EPA and DHA. There's a ton of good things about fish oil and dogs. Uh, cats use it too, but this is the Zesty Paws Wild Alaskan Salmon Oil. I give him one pump of this a day. This is the small bottle. I think it was only like $15 or something like that. Uh, they do come in bigger sizes as well, but for eight fluid ounces, I thought that was pretty good. Um, and yeah, I keep this in the fridge. I keep it refrigerated, refrigerated and then I just do a pump on his food at nighttime. So the first treats brand I want to mention is actually Trader Joe's, which um, is a grocery store chain here in Charlotte. I know it's all over um, the country, I think. I know we have it in Phoenix too, so. Um, it's a pretty well-known grocery store chain, um, but 
He loves their treats. The first one we have is the pumpkin maple bacon flavored stuffies. They look like this. They actually smell really good. They smell like candy. Um, I have not eaten one, but I've been tempted. They smell so good. They have pretty limited ingredients. It's not a ton of stuff. It's basically like pumpkin, maple flavor, stuff like that. Um, but I'm sure they have these during the fall. I don't know if they have them beyond that. We got them, I wanna say at the beginning of November. So I don't know if they would still have them, but they're super, super popular. Um, next we have the Trader Joe's deli style corned beef flavored dog treats. Uh, this is a smaller package and they just look like this. It's almost like a beef jerky um, consistency. And he loves these. And then the third one that we got from Trader Joe's is this huge bag of Better Than Leftovers, a collection of soft baked dog treats inspired by your dinner, dinner table. Uh, roast beef, gravy, cheese, sweet potato, and apple pie, assorted flavors. And they're just like these little circle treats. And he really likes these as well. So Trader Joe's is doing it right um, for the pups. Next, we have the brand Lick or Treat. I'm pretty sure these came from a bark box, um, but they are Halloween inspired. So the first one is Count Quackula, and this is a duck recipe. And the other one is Haunted Ham, and this is a pork recipe. As you guys know, Monty is allergic to poultry, so we don't give him like chicken stuff. Um, but these are pork and duck, and he really, really likes these. These are like little ones, and these are more of a, like a bigger treat. So. Um, he really likes these. And then lastly, for treats, we have the limited edition, and this was supposed to go in his stocking, didn't quite make it there. Um, but these are the gingerbread flavor greenies. He's loved these greenies since the day we brought him home. He's had the original flavor, and now he gets to try the gingerbread fit flavor. And I know in the fall they came out with like a pumpkin spice or something like that, so we have yet to try that one. But he's absolutely obsessed with these, and they're really good for his teeth. I know you can get them in all kinds of different places. We get them on Amazon. And last but not least, um, his absolute favorite thing probably ever are the Primal Freeze-Dried Nuggets. Um, this is a great brand. I back this brand 100,000%. Um, it was the same brand as the Bones, um, but they just have such good ingredients. And these, I'll just show you. It comes in like a little nug looking thing that you rehydrate. Um, and I use it as a meal topper for their food. It could also be used as a full balanced meal. Depending on how big your dog is, you can give them so many to where it works as a full meal for them. Um, I have the pork formula because again, he really likes pork. And yeah, I also get the primal goat milk occasionally and rehydrate these with that, uh, but water works as well. And he gets these, he gets two nuggets a day that I shred and put on top of his food. But other than that, I don't have anything else to mention in this video. Um, I'm sure I will continue to collect dog toys, treats, whatever it is, and mention them in coming up videos or future videos. But yeah, I'm really glad that you guys joined me today and talked about Monty's favorite things. And this can, you can get these for any dog. This is not specific for French Bulldogs, but if you do have a French Bulldog, I'm sure that they will like these things because Monty does. But yeah, if you end up getting any of these things, comment down below if your dog loves them. I will have everything linked down below um, for you guys to grab. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye.